which is still not whole. Kyrie Irving can still not play in home games in New York uh, because he's unvaccinated. Good news, though, Kevin Durant expected back tonight. Can't wait for this game. Jay, are you going? Brooklyn hosting the first place heat. Before KD got hurt, the Nets were in second place, a half game out of first in the East. Now they're in eighth, nine games out of first. Talk about impact. And on Monday, the Nets said Ben Simmons still has not been cleared for practice as he recovers from back soreness. He will not practice the rest of this week, and his timetable to return is unknown. Stephen A., what's the bigger story? Is it KD's return, or is it that Simmons is still not playing? To me, it's KD's return. And the reason why I say it's KD's return, because, you know, he's the man. When healthy, I believe that Kevin Durant is the best player on the planet. That's how I feel about him. And so because of that, I don't think it's a coincidence that the Nets went on an 11-game losing streak the second that he went down. I don't think it's a coincidence that they were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference when he was healthy in spite of Kyrie Irving's sporadic availability because he wasn't there at home games and James Harden wanting out. They were still the number one seed in the Eastern Conference when Kevin Durant was healthy. He goes down. Now they're trying to make sure they can at least make it to the play-in game. Okay? That's how lethal Kevin Durant is. And so when I look at it from that perspective, all right, and I look at the question marks that exist with Kyrie Irving and the vaccine mandate, with Ben Simmons, who is another matter, and as far as I'm concerned, it is it has become an atrocity. I'm, I'm sick of this stuff with Ben Simmons. I really, really am. Because, again, we want to be very, very clear and very, very mindful that we're not minimizing the importance of mental health issues. And I'm not even thinking, Jay, about what the hell he was going through while he was in Philadelphia. Here's what I do know. Since the brother has arrived in Brooklyn, with the exception of the very first game that took place after he, after he got traded to Brooklyn because he hadn't arrived in Brooklyn yet, as of yet, he's been with the team for every single game. He's been on the bench. He's been slapping high fives. He's been congratulating everybody. He's been laughing up a storm. He's been feeling, he's been looking phenomenal. And we know he's healthy because he hasn't played. No, he's physically healthy, so he hasn't played. Why the hell has this man not been on the court, not been cleared to practice, and all of this other? This, something's up. Something's up. All of that stuff puts more of the onus on the shoulders of Kevin Durant when he comes back healthy because we all know what he can do. He just has to do what we always know him to do. That's all I mean by that. The answer is Ben Simmons for all those reasons you just stated, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. You know, you said that when KD was healthy, they were the number one team in the Eastern Conference. Mm -hmm. They also were the number one team because they had James Harden on that team, who was mm -hmm. giving them such a lethal scoring punch in games in which Kyrie couldn't play. So I got to tell you, I'm really worried about my net squad right now because now Kyrie Irving is only playing on road games due to this new private sector mandate that nobody ever heard of until now all of a sudden we heard of and is a thing, number one. But now when you go to home games, now you're asking KD off the Achilles injury he had a couple years ago, coming back playing. It's the, the knee issue now to come back and now just to be great, which he can be. But this is where you need Ben Simmons more than ever and I'm worried about what Ben Simmons am I going to get if I'm going to get Ben Simmons because we lose the Nets lose that scoring punch that they last they had with James Harden and how Ben Simmons comes back and plays in particular in home games in which Kyrie can't help offload some of the issues by scoring and his dynamic self that he brings to the table offensively this is where you need Ben Simmons more than ever and there's no time I don't understand how there's not a timetable on him coming back to play. And, you know, it's lower lower back issues because he's working on his conditioning again. I hear all that, but it seems like the environment has changed, and now if there's any time that Ben needs to answer the call, it's coming up in these next couple of weeks, and they need him more than ever in order to help KD elevate. You can't have KD off his injury guarding the other team's best player. That's something that Ben Simmons needs to do because you want KD's legs to be saved for the offensive punches you need at home, in particular at the Barclays Center. Well, I think that we're confusing our points here because I'm talking the reason why I, was, I brought up KD is because we know Ben Simmons is not going to be available for the immediate future. And considering the fact that the Nets recently lost 11 straight 
and now they've lost 15 of 13, and now it's, it's, it's uh, you know, 13 of 15, rather, and now it's 15 of their last 18 games, okay? And they're one game above 500 after being the number one seed when KD was on the court. I'm saying because of the question marks about Ben mm. Simmons, because of the continual question marks about Kyrie, who's only got seven games left available to play, on the road, the rest of them are supposed to be at the Barclays Center, and the vaccine mandate hasn't been, lift, hasn't been lifted. That's where I'm bringing KD into the equation. I'm not disagreeing with your point about Ben Simmons, but the first order of business is for him to get on the damn court. And it's gotten to a point where we got to speak up about this. I mean, we really do. I mean, listen, listen. I'm dicey about it. I know how sensitive you are about the subject, Jay. Mental mm -hmm. health is a serious, serious thing. Yes, it is. And, and, and listen, there are people who don't believe them, and we've talked about that issue. I'm not even going there. I'm not even going there. Forget, forget about what people believe. Forget about Philadelphia. He's in Brooklyn now. Here's my point to Ben Simmons. You in, you're in Brooklyn. How is it that you're healthy, physically healthy to play basketball, and you're on the bench with new teammates in a new city high-fiving, laughing, and having a good time, and traveling with the team. But mm -hmm. somehow, some way, you can't put on a uniform. Pat Riley, you know, in, in, in the book, Blood in the Garden, by Chris Aaron in the New York Times, the great job that he did with that book, right? Talked the story, and he told the story of Pat Riley being in a locker room and a player walking in with his street clothes on. And Pat Riley said to him, with everything on the line, he said, if we desperately, desperately needed you, could you give us three minutes? And that player said, sure, I could do that for you. Mm -hmm. And Pat Riley said, then what the hell are you doing here with your street clothes? Put on a mm. damn uniform. Man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.